Okay. Um, with digital identity being such a vast topic of discussion, I won't go into too much detail. Um, but what I'm going to share with you is our vision and an introduction to the Identity Suite project that can hopefully help enable ease of access into the digital identity space for organizations, institutions, businesses, and of course, individuals. As many of you already know, the IOTA identity protocols are some of the most powerful in the IOTA ecosystem, and we're aiming to demonstrate this through the project. With the IOTA ecosystem especially suited to the IOT side of things, we're seeing amazing initiatives, partnerships, research and developments using IOTA identity that solve a huge number of current edge challenges. But where we're focusing is on the human aspect of digital identity. The use of digital identity for organizations and individuals offers countless solutions across a range of industries and institutional sectors, from government to education, healthcare to finance, retail through to real estate. And within these sectors, it covers a range of versatile use cases, such as personal identity, licensing, registration, certification, insurance, medical documentation, the, the list could go on forever. And with such scope for social development in this space, we've channeled our focus towards creating the identity suite that can introduce these solutions and make IOTA identity easily accessible for these organizations and businesses anywhere in the world. What Identity Suite is, is basically a collection of applications and developer tools that can enable full management of the IOTA identity protocols. Our goal being the creation of sort of a foundation stack that can allow ease of integration into the technology, providing solutions that can be implemented easily to empower a safer, more secure and inclusive future. The project itself is made up of two main applications with a number of additional modules and integrations that leverage the IOTA identity protocols, which have been built by the talented developers at the IOTA Foundation, fully in line with the W3C standardized guidelines for digital identifiers, DIDs, and verifiable credentials, VCs. So the first of the applications, Certify, is digital identity for organizations enabling governments, businesses, and institutions the ability to manage their identities and to subsequently create and issue verifiable credentials to individual identity holders with ease. And the second application, Vera, is a digital identity wallet for individuals. It's a mobile identity wallet that offers self-sovereign identity to its holder, allowing anyone the ability to own and control their digital identity and credentials, putting the privacy back in the hands of the identity owner. With over 1 billion individuals in the world today who have no form of legal identification and an increase in falsification and data breaches and a rise in stricter privacy and security regulations, through the use of the IOTA identity protocols and identity suite, we are hoping to start to help and make a change to this. Over the next couple of months, we'll be sharing more information. We'll be doing some demonstrations and insights into what we are creating so that we can provide a more visual understanding of the potential of identity and what it can be used for. And just to finish up, I'm going to go back to a previous slide here because this is something we're really focusing on. Where we are at, this is simply the beginning. Our aim is to start working towards collaborative initiatives alongside public and private institutions and organizations to start building out these solutions and the infrastructure that can enable the future of digital identity for everyone, everywhere. Thank you. Could could you go to the to the slide um, for Vera again? For Vera, yeah. The, the identity wallet. 
Okay. So yeah, so this is Vera, the mobile um, identity wallet we're developing. Uh, could you expand the tech stack of the application a bit? Yeah, so it's being built by Merrill. Merrill knows all of the techie stuff, um, but we're basically building it in a similar vein to, to Firefly. So um, using the uh, stronghold wallet and identity combo to create the security and the protection of, of the keys. Um, and the software, or the software, the application itself is um, basic MERN stack. So it's a common, a common technology stack that people are familiar with, um, with the React front end um, that can easily be um, customized and developed, further developed um, by developers who are familiar with web and mobile applications. So we're using React Native, so it will be packaged for Android and iOS. Perfect. Thanks. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So the idea is they don't have to just use your wallet, right? But that you will provide um, a simple code that they can either embed it into the application or input in the application. Correct. Yes. They yes. always have to use your you use your app to authenticate. We're using the standardized IOTA identity protocols. So the back end and the modules for each of the areas of functionality will be exactly that. They'll be modular. So um, you come into the repo and you could take out the um, user, uh, the user system. You could you could come in and you could take out the verification system. You could take out the NFC and QR system. Um, so we're, we're trying we're trying to build it as modular as possible, so it's it's easier for people to to come in and use what we've built in other applications as well. Okay, thank you. It's okay. Cool. Is that code already, or will it be open source? It'll be open source, fully open source. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. But it's not yet, right? Um, or could, okay. I, could I jump in there and check it out a little bit? So, because I would be really interested in it. <laughs> no, you're, you're more than welcome to jump in. Um, we we finished um, the entire front end build, and um, Merrill is just finishing up the core um, basic identity functionality. So, um, creating identities, um, creating verifiable credential templates, then issuing credentials, and then um, validating and verifying those to the Tangle. So we, we should have in the next week or two um, pretty much a, a fully functional basic system. And then all of the additional modules and functionality, um, such as adding DNS domain integration and developing um, a public front end for decentralized user profiles and things like that, to demonstrate how all that can work, um, we'll be building those over the next month or so, and then once all of that is complete, certified will be will be finished, um, and we will move on to building all of those modules then into Vera, the mobile application. Love it, really cool. And would it be? Does it have a backend in any any sense, or is it then like? Oh, it's yeah. just talking to the tangle, no, right? It, it's got a, it's got a lot of back end. All right, all right. <laughs> we're, we're building it. We're building it as with with the IOTA identity protocols not being at at version one yet. We're we're building the the system to to function as realistically as possible with the current um, with the current protocols that are available, which um, are the beta version, um, and then. In the future, um, when Identity 1.0 comes out later in the year, hopefully, um, then we will um, get rid of we'll, some parts. Well, no, we won't okay. get rid of. We'll, we'll like kind of go back and um, 
reformat what needs to be done um and then hopefully we can we can keep the system as functional as possible so in the future it could just be used almost out of the box sort of thing that's kind of like the future aim um what would be the example of uh things that you would currently handle through backend do you, can you mention a few or um unfortunately my knowledge of of the magic that Merrill is creating is not super duper um perfect but but yeah basically basically all of the um all of the identity functionality will will be handled through the back end using um the wasm bindings um and we will also be Merrill is developing um a, a login system that, that uses DID. It's not um, an SSO um, because that needs a bit more research and everything, but it's a, a simplified version that can demonstrate how signing on with, with DID could function in the future. Um, the, more, the more advanced um, the research and stuff in that area goes, then we will add it in the future. Um, also, Merrill is building a DNS the main sort of integration. So um, you will be able to recognize a DID um, as being attached to a domain. So similar to the way like um, DKAIM works, um, you would have um, your key that is signed to the Tangle and then your public key and your DNS. Um, and this would be um, recorded with your with your DID in, in the Tangle when, when you register the, the domain to that DID. And then when somebody checks a verifiable credential, it would show you the DID and also the, the domain name that that DID is attached to as verified to the Tangle. So you've got that human identifier in there. It's a lot more complex than that, but <laughs> I, I don't know exactly how the magic works, but I know that's kind of the, the functionality of, of the system. Very cool. Thanks. No worries. Can yeah, you... it would be really cool if Merrill could uh, um, dig a little deeper uh, in, a, in any of the future meetings uh, into how everything in the back end and front end is working at the moment and also will is is be, is to be supposed to uh, to change right when when the release actually takes place. So yeah, we're kind of like in a similar situation with the with the NFT marketplace where we just have these dependencies and compromise them with a backend, right? And so yeah, kind of a weird way to develop apps. <laughs> Yeah. If, you, if you develop features with the purpose of removing them as soon as you can, actually, right? <laughs> yeah, this is this is one issue we we've got with with how we're building at the moment is. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's not the identity protocols; it's other things, um, because the work that Yelly and everybody is doing is awesome. Um, but it's things like um, filtering perma nodes and things like this, because a system like this for a, an institution or or a government or a business or an organization it would naturally it would, it would require some form of identity filtered permanent that, that can save and store dids um but yeah to, to record record the the records of digital identities and and um so that they can be referenced in the future but i mean these these are all things that are, that are awaiting research and, and development so in the future, there will be all this stuff, but we're just, we're building this to show what it can do. And over time, we will update, upgrade. Um, it'll be a public repo, so anybody can jump in and add bits and make it better and, and things like that. So yeah, it's just making making identity easily accessible. One of the one of the reasons we we got behind this um, project is is to make something that people will want to play about with. There, I mean, this is why we went for React as well um, because it's it's the most popular front end um, framework, and 
in doing so, we've made we're making a system that people who just know how to use React could come and just play about with. So they they're playing about with with the IOTA identity protocols without even needing to know anything other than what they already know. And, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make this accessible so people can play about with it. They can see how powerful it is. They can see what they can do with it. And hopefully that'll that'll help boost the, the ecosystem and um, get a bit of excitement going over digital identity on IOTA. Boom. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs>